92.3 Amp Radio. It's New York's new 92.3 Amp Radio. I'm Astra, hanging with my girl Alicia Keys. Welcome. Yes, we're here. I was about to say, we are here. We are. <laughs> the title of your new song, as well as your organization. Now let's talk about We Are Here, the organization. Tell me about it. Okay, I guess I kind of have to talk about the song in order to get to the organization because okay. it started way all together. you want to go. So we are here. The song started because of a question that a friend of mine asked me. She was like, why are you here? And that was so crazy to me because naturally she could have meant, why are you here in my house? Because I don't want you to be here with me right now. <laughs> but she didn't mean that. She meant like, why are you here in the world? And I thought that was so deep. I'd never been asked that question before just straight out to answer. And so that started me on this like rampage. I was just asking everyone around me, why are you here? Could you... Why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> and so um, and so that's kind of what started the, the, the concept for the song and the idea for the song. And then not to mention everything that's been going on around us, I think, in the media and the news, um, on our social media, is like we can all see everywhere there's so much going on in the world. I mean, there's Ferguson, there's Nigeria, there's Israel and Gaza, and there's Chicago, and there's things always happening like every second, everywhere we look. And I think so many of us are going through like, we feel kind of crazy about it. We don't know what to think or what to do or how to feel or what action to take. Like, how can we help? What can we, you know, how can we be a part of it? Mm -hmm. And so, and so that's what kind of sparked the song and the topics in the song and the conversation about like, we are here for all of us, you know, we're here, you know, for each other. That's kind of the only reason why we're here. So that then gave birth to this movement, this organization called wearehearemovement.com. And that's because as I continue to sit in front of the TV with my friends and, you know, watch things that are going on, the thing that would break my heart the most is when people are like, all right, so we organized, you know, 100,000 people to march in the streets, but what is that going to do? You know, right. what's that going to change? And I was like, man, we really feel like we can't change anything or we can't do anything. And I just, I was like, what if there's a way that we could just start to aggregate our voices together? We put our voices in one place and we sign up. And so wearehearemovement.com is really about signing up and putting your voice in one place where you say, you know, my name is Astra and I'm from New York. And, you know, and that allows us to have this dialogue, this conversation. So not only can we educate each other about what's going on in different parts of the world, but we can also have direct action. Like I need 3,000 signatures so that I can take this to the leaders and say, you know, this is not we don't want this. We don't want to see this happening anymore. So it's like really about direct action so that we can begin to do things about the things that we're seeing around us that, you know, we don't like. I love that you're getting involved like that, yeah. especially being a musician. Music touches a lot of people. Definitely. So for you to actually use your music to empower and enlighten this message to others for them to understand, because you're very smart when it comes to what's going on in the world today, too. Not a lot of people know both. Thank you. You know, so because it's like hard that. to know. I think it's I think it's tricky to know. I mean, we see kind of like these blurbs or blurs on the news and you pick kind of a little bit from each one. And right. How do you exactly know exactly everything that's going on? And then there's so many different issues in different places and different countries and different. And that's the other thing about we are here movement dot com, too, because realizing that we can't look at the issues of the world that kind of as individual things like, OK, poverty is somewhere over there and in healthcare is somewhere over there and in women's education or girls education is over there. It all really exists together, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. so that's another thing that kind of looking at it more holistically as opposed to it's all separate or, you know, in different places. So um, it's dope. And it's true. Being, a, being someone who does music and music is such a powerful tool is one of the things I think unites us the most. The one of the things that we can forget everything else Absolutely. that we've been going through and we can say we're all in this one place, you know, feeling good together or feeling inspired together. So... It's definitely good to be able to build on that, too. That's awesome. Well, you're creating awareness to a lot of issues like poverty, gun violence, youth suicide. There's just a huge list I had come across. Um, was there something in your own life that compelled you to take a stand on these issues? I think it's just kind of overall, you know, just overall feeling overwhelmed or overall feeling like there's things that are all around us, but this kind of sense of what can we do about it? How can we get involved with it? I think that I even I myself have felt that way, just just overall looking at everything. It's kind of like this this emptiness almost, and and even as much I, I was thinking as much as we're connected on our devices, like we're texting and we're emailing and we're Instagramming and we're Twittering, and we could talk to thousands of people in any part of the country. Somehow we still feel kind of isolated, you know. We still kind of feel like, well, 
I guess I sort of know them, but I'm just it's just in my own little world and and so it's it's I think it's really important to establish this feeling of community that we that we can actually converse and listen and dialogue and speak about things that are, you know, concerning us or bothering us and on many levels. That's awesome. So I was thinking that maybe what compelled you is your pregnancy on baby number two. Congratulations. Thank by the you. Way. Thank you. I should have said that probably. <laughs> I should have said that because I do think that is a big reason, too. I mean, I, I have to say that, you know, having a baby and, you know, being pregnant right now, I do feel more inspired than ever. You know, just I feel, everybody always looks at me like, you're moving too fast. Don't you want to sit down? Why are you going everywhere? Because you just feel like more motivated than ever to, to just be present and, you know, talk about what's important and think about the world in a little bit of a different way, I think. So... I, we are very excited, and it's a beautiful thing. I'm excited that this baby gets to come with me as we begin the We Are Here movement. It's, like, kind of cool. Like That is awesome. You know, it's like... The baby's I'm, growing with you, yeah, with it. Yeah, we're, like, it's moving awesome. it together. <laughs> when are you due, by the way? Uh, it's supposed to be the end of December. Oh, and what are you having? We're not sure yet. Oh. I know. Can I can I put guesses in, maybe? Sure. I'm going to guess a girl. Okay. Because it looks like it would be. And if I'm right, hmm. I don't know what I win. Right. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I win something. Ding, ding. <laughs> well, I got to say, on your Instagram, I love the way that you promoted the new movement by posing nude in a very classy way. Ah, thank you. Know, you know, with the peace sign on your belly. Was that your idea? Yeah, no, it's definitely about making a statement because the, the concept for the movement is about, the point is, like, even though we might grow up in different places or believe different things or even, you know, believe in different religions or or see the world in different ways, I think the one thing we can all agree on is we believe that the world should be peaceful and safe for children. And so that was the statement that that was made with putting the peace sign on my pregnant belly. It's Very like, deep. Because like that's the one thing we can say that's not fair. It's not fair when kids have to see all this, you know, this war or hate or killing or mm-hmm. losing their parents or homes or, you know, it's, it's, that's too much. So, so that's what that was saying. That's so awesome. I love that message. That's great. Now, Thank you. I understand that you donated a million dollars of your own money to 12 different groups and organizations, and two other organizations actually matched your pledge. Kudos to you and for them on you know doing something this amazing on making this world a better place. But how can we, the people in the community, our listeners, everybody watching this, how can they help out as well? So the, that's one of the cool things that's happening with the WeAreHereMovement.com. We've partnered with these 12 organizations, and so We Are Here is really not about starting a new charity or doing something from beginning. It's really about supporting the organizations that are already doing such great work in the world. And so those organizations span from many different points of view, equality, gay rights, girls' education, health care, gun reform, prison reform. Um, you know, so the point is, is that I'm hoping that these will expose, these are things that we can all believe in. We can all say, like, that makes sense to me. You know what I mean? So hopefully wearehearemovement.com will expose people to these organizations and they might find their passion. They might be like, I have always felt so enraged about different whatever gun laws or different situations where, you know, certain people can't have access to a proper education or, you know, that, like, I've always been bothered about that. I want to do something about that. And so when you want to do something about that, you can... First, most important is to sign up to WeAreHereMovement.com so that we can aggregate these voices and do things that are important. Mm -hmm. But maybe you want to give your time. Maybe you do want to donate $5 to one of these organizations. Maybe you just want to spread the word and say, man, I just heard about this thing, you know, or this organization called War Child or Girls Rising, and it means something to me, and, you know, check it out and see what they're about. Even spreading the word is a powerful thing. And definitely the most important thing is tell all your friends to sign up at WeAreHereMovement.com. That alone will definitely give that type of energy and power that needs to come to to make and change. So it's really not about just money, you know what I mean? I mean, that helps naturally, but it's really about the energy. Absolutely. Positive energy yes. always just brings out the best in everything. Now, energy. Do you? I believe in that immensely. Do you have an ultimate goal that you're looking to reach? I think that, that the, for there to be a continued dialogue, you know, for there to be an, and also a place where we can actually have uh, the opportunity to have direct action. To me, that's the that's the goal. So this dialogue is going to continue on. We're starting it here. We're starting it now. We're going to continue to converse as we, the more people that sign up and the more people that become a part of the movement, it's really definitely about us dialoguing and reaching out and having 
action, you know, being able to take direct action. So to me, that's that's the goal. It's really simple. It's really not supposed to be complicated. I think everything looks so complicated and we see all these things on television and feel so complicated and our lives are like so complicated. And <laughs> this is not complicated. This is actually you know? really simple and direct and it's still fulfilling because you know that you're a part of pushing things forward. Now, where can we get a complete list of the different charities and organizations you're looking to help one more time? So we could put it up, you know, on our website, get everybody to go there. Definitely. So we are here, movement.com. You'll learn about all the organizations. It's right there, boom, quick, you sign up as well. And then you can, you know, browse the organizations and see what they do and what they're about, and hopefully that'll inspire you. A lot of people have told me, man, I just went on and I checked it out, and, you know, this particular thing, you know, is is really resonating with me, like an organization called All Out, uh, which is for gay rights. And and there's a in, in the world, there's, you know, there's still so many countries where being gay is like a crime. And there's still so many countries where it's punishable by death. Mm-hmm. It's like, huh? Who knew that? Like, maybe we didn't know that. And, and, and of course, we would say that's not fair, you know? So so there's definitely wearehearemovement.com, and you can check it all out, or at We Are Here Movement if you want to check on your Instagram and kind of check into what's going on and be a part of the noise making. And it's, it's dope. It's incredible. You know, there's one thing I have to say about this movement that it kind of reminds me of. I remember growing up, of obviously you two as well, with Michael Jackson. Mm. Remember the We Are the World yeah, movement? Yeah, I do. This seriously has me thinking about that. It gives me the chills just thinking about it because I feel like you're kind of bringing it back into a 2014 era mm. and you're doing it in like the female empowerment side of it. Yes. And I have to say like kudos to you for that because wow, thank you. for you to take a stance that strong, especially you know how big he was and, and everything that he did, for you to now almost do it but in a female side. Yeah. Like... This is just amazing, and whatever I can do to help you out, I definitely want to, and I, and I want to help spread the word and, and get everybody involved. Thank you. I'm so happy for you to say that, and, and, I, and you know, maybe later we'll fill out our thing about why you're here, because that's what oh, I, I just, I love to hear it. <laughs> and ask your friends that, too, like, why are you here? It's such a, you'll be so surprised how much you learn about people that you already know. Yeah. You know, you, you might not even know what they would say, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to surprise you. Well, I've learned a lot about you today, as did everybody else watching this. Thank you so much for taking out the time and spreading the word. And we're going to do our best to help you and just keep doing what you're doing. Your music's amazing. You're amazing. Appreciate that. Everything is great. Thank you. And good luck with baby number two. Oh, man.